we're going to be creating a simple expense report. So we've got a number of columns here, A, B, C, and the first one has a date, second is category and amount, and the objective is that we're going to be categorizing all of the items within the same category and updating them, calculating them together, and then the script is going to run and generate a new report with the categories and stuff totaled up here. So the utilities, entertainment, and groceries all totaled up. And this is what the script is going to be accomplishing. Create and open up a spreadsheet and we're going to give this spreadsheet three columns. So first one is going to be the date, second is category, and third is amount. And then once you've added in some data into your spreadsheet, then this is just dummy data that we have to work with. We can go under the extensions, app script, and open up a bound script. So it's going to open up the script editor and we want to create a function where we're going to generate the monthly expense report. So that's going to be the name of the function. But first we want to select the sheet object and we're using the spreadsheet app service. And because this is going to be a bound script, we can get the active spreadsheet and this should actually be spreadsheet. And then we want to select the sheet by name. So get sheet by, by name. And this is expecting a string value. So let's create a variable for the sheet name and we can just call it expenses. And I'm going to go back over and rename the spreadsheet to expenses instead of sheet two. It's going to be called expenses so that we're making sure that we're selecting the right spreadsheet where we've got the data to work with that. So selecting the spreadsheet. Next, we want to get the data range and the values. So let's select the range and the range is going to be the sheet get data range and it's going to return back the entire range value of the sheet. And we want to just get the values that are contained within the sheet. So we're going to do the range. So this is going to get the, all of the values of the sheet using this method. And within the logger log, let's output the values just to make sure that everything is working properly within the script. So we run the script and we see that we're returning back all of the values that we had within the sheet. So I also want to slice out the, some of this data. So let's uh, remove out. So we can see within the values, we've got that first row. So let's use slice and remove out all of the, co the first row. So it's going to remove out the header content and we'll run it again. And now we've got the header content is out and we're able to continue with just the data that we want to use within the sheet. So let's also create an object for categories or an array for categories. We want to populate this blank categories array. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be dynamic. Whenever we adjust any of the categories, we can make adjustments on the script. So let's select uh, the values and we're going to go through for each. So this is going to return back the value. And then we want to use the row array. And I'll just use the logger so that we can see what's being output for each row. So it's going to return back the row of contents for each one of the rows. And it's just outputting them separately. So it's giving us all of the rows of data to work with. And so here we can select it out by its index value. So the category is going to be equal to the content contained within row one and use an index value of one. So because this is array based, so the first column is going to be zero, second column is going to be one. So that's where we're selecting the category in row one. Let's get the amount. So the amount is going to be contained within the row column number three, which is index value of two. And we check to see if the categories has a category value. And if it is already there, then we add it to the amount for the categories. So this is going to be updating into the categories object. So categories, and we've got the category already. So we're adding the whatever we've got for the amount to it. 
and otherwise we're going to set the category amount as whatever we've got for the amount. So notice within the content we have two under groceries so we don't want to be uh, duplicating that amount so we want to be creating it and grouping it all into the same category. So it's going to update the categories object which is on the main function so within the scope of the main part of the function. So let's create and we're going to format the date using the date value report sheet name we are generating a second sheet object so report sheet name so let's create the expense report and if we want to give it a unique name we can use the utilities and format the date get the new date include the session get script time zone so this will set the date to whatever the current time zone is and then the format that we want to return back so month so let's uh we'll log out this into the logger and this is going to be the report sheet name Our expense report february 2024 so it's giving us the right month so this will create a sheet with the content there from the expense report. So let's, uh, so we've created the sheet and uh, create, or we should create the sheet now. So this is going to be the report sheet so that we can add the content into it. So using the spreadsheet app, we're going to get the active spreadsheet object. So once again, it's a bound script. And then we want to do the get sheet by name. So actually we're going to select this and we're going to just simplify this code just a little bit because we're always using, we're using that same spreadsheet object. So getting the active spreadsheet. So this will just simplify some of our code here. And so we don't have to write it again. That cleans it up and now we can just look at the name. So we've going to, once again, we'll set the report sheet or we can just use the SS object and we're going to be getting the sheet by name by name and so we're going to be looking for a sheet that's going to be under the report sheet name and if it doesn't exist then we want to insert a sheet by that name sheet and the insert sheet is just going to require the one parameter so that's going to be the string value of the sheet name that we want to create so let's go ahead and we'll run the code and when we run it we should generate a sheet and when we run it again a sheet should exist so it shouldn't be generating the sheet and because uh, we just created the sheet we want to take that report sheet and clear any content contained within there because we want a nice fresh report report sheet we're going to append a row and this is going to be the heading information. So we create an array and this is going to be just category and then the total that we have for the values. That's going to create the header row and let's use the object keys and select the categories and iterate through each one of those. So we're returning back the category. And then we want to append the report sheet just as we just created and added a new row. So we're appending another row. And then for each one of the columns, let's include the values that we want. So the first value is going to be coming under the category. And then the second value is going to be the categories category. So the category is going to be the total amount that we have because we've updated it here. And then within the second column, we're looping through the categories object. And I'll output that within the console so that we can get a better look at it. And we're getting returning back the category. So let's uh, do a logger log and output the categories. And so what this is doing is this is appending the row content to the sheet. So let's uh, run the code. 
And so there we've got the totals for entertainment, for groceries, for utilities, and that's gone into the expense report. And so what's happened here is it's totaled the ones that are groceries. And if we were to add some more there, and maybe these can be different amounts, run the code again. And it shouldn't create a new report, but it should update that current one with whatever the total is for what we've grouped in the categories. So that's the 250 and the other 125 and 75 and 55. So that's going to be the total there that we have 505. So let's say you can create a simple expense report that calculates all of your expenses and then outputs it into a separate spreadsheet. And then this is again dynamic. So as we're looping through and as we've got new expenses that we've categorized here uh, for the month, then we can just generate those expense reports as needed. And this is all done with Google Apps Script. And this also can be added in to a trigger so that you can set this to run monthly or daily, however you want it, the trigger to run. You just do the add trigger and select time driven and then from the time driven, you can select when you want the intervals for the script to run. You select that generate monthly expense report. And that allow you to generate those monthly expense reports from that spreadsheet where we're just tracking all of our expenses within that first sheet there.